two hours. Um, I was there for two hours, and at the almost two hour mark, someone comes over. Two hours at an hour and a half, the doctor came and just to see me, and they literally just looked at my teeth. I had gotten x-rays done and an exam, meaning they literally just looked at my teeth. That was it. It was supposed to be a cleaning. Also, I went there like a month ago and they were like, oh, we scheduled you too early. Um, you got to come back because your insurance isn't going to pay for this. It's going to be like expensive. And I was like, okay. So I came here all the way here for no reason. So now I go back today for my actual appointment for my cleaning. Literally. Sorry, we only have one doctor working today. They didn't even say sorry. They just said, yeah, we have one doctor today. So it's only exam and x-rays. And I'm like, I've been here for two hours. I've been here for two hours. And all you're going to give me is x-rays. And the doctor is just looked at my teeth. They just looked at them. I was like, come on. You're not even going to at least do a little cleaning. Like, how long does that even take? I'm not asking for no cavities. I had nothing that needed to get fixed or filled. Literally just a basic cleaning. And I was like, you can't just do a quick cleaning? But no. And then they charged me for a cleaning. I looked at the bill afterwards because they made me sign all those lease papers and stuff. I looked at the bill afterwards and they charged me for a cleaning. And I was like, what the hell? I mean, my, they charged my insurance for a cleaning, but still. Um, and yeah, and they also told me I have gingivitis, which they they said that they knew that I had a year ago and that I need to do this $1,400 um, treatment. And I was like, uh, okay, can I like, can you tell me what the treatment is? Can I have a little bit of a better understanding of how necessary it is? Like, clearly, if it's not covered by my insurance at all, and it's $1,400, like, I need to know if it's absolutely necessary or not. Like, anyway. Um, oh, heavens. Okay, so for so these pants are great, though, you know, now that I'm home. Um, but yeah, I just, I just threw on like a like a sloppy button-up shirt earlier just to go to the dentist and I wore these pants because they're thick and they're comfortable and they have pockets and I don't have to worry about wearing underwear with them and um yeah I can throw stuff in the pockets so <clears throat> but I want to put on a shirt that like makes a little more sense with these which I like um I tuck my shirt in. I like my shirts tucked in with these sort of like when I have like a baggy cargo pant like this, I like a tucked in shirt. I just feel like it is a I don't know. It completes the aesthetic a little better. So let's see. This is a small this shirt, um, and it did shrink a little bit in the wash, which is good because it was like a little bit too big when I first got it. But look, you guys, it has this like really cool um, sort of like. Wow, this like sheer burnout section, which is really, I don't know, it's cool. It's like, so it's sheer, it goes just inside the nipple, so you're not on the nipple, usually. <sighs> and it's just like a nice, it's like a loop. I don't know, I think it's cool and cute and fun. But let me talk about the pants. So the pants are a nice olive green, which I love. I have a bunch of pair of pants like this. I don't know if it's just... If they're back in style or what i have a lot of them in mill in like a in like camo and i wear them every single day or in an olive solid olive green like these um and i mute my phone my messages right now it's like annoying. but um i feel like when i put it on do not disturb i still get messages maybe because it's like my like it's open and working anyway whatever point is <clears throat> I have a lot of pants like these, and I really just love having the extra pockets. A lot of these pants I have either have big cargo pants here or here, um, and these are no exception. They've got big pockets, which have hidden buttons underneath here in this little flap here. Um, so you can unbutton them if you want to, but you don't have to, because what I do is I just sort of stick my hand in. Um, but I love having the pockets low, because I'm often carrying, you know, a bunch of stuff like phone, chapstick, headphones, keys, cards, cash, you know, those types of things, car keys. Um, and I don't like putting them in these upper pockets because it makes my hips look so wide. And I feel like having the pockets down low is great because I don't mind having a little bit of bulk down here, just like visually, because this is like where my thigh muscles are. So like if, it's, if, it, if I've got extra bulk down here, fine. Looks like I have thick, strong thighs. If I've got a lot of bulk up here, it just looks like I'm sort of like pear-shaped and I have big hips, which is beautiful if that's what you want. But 
I don't want that so much for me. Um, and then they have the same sort of thing in the back, these pockets with um, the same sort of flaps, which you can unbutton or button, but oh, I got clay on them. Oh my God, I'm just not saying I got a little clay on them, but whatever, it comes right out. It's just a little clay. Um, and the pockets have, they're gusseted. So like, this is an expensive construction pant. I can't believe it's only $25. That's crazy. What? Wow, God. This is such a steal, honestly. They're $30, but they're 15% off. Crazy that they're only $30 normally because they're nice, heavy cotton pants. They really are like a nice, heavy weight. Like, if these were at Club Monaco or something, these would be like $150 at least because they're a really, like, heavy weight pant. Very, very substantial. The pockets have tons of fabric in them because they have this pocket, this, like, cover of the pocket. Can you see this? And then they have the lower part and then the actual pocket. And all the pockets are gusseted on the side. So there's gussets here on the back pockets as well. Like that's just a lot of construction. So that's a lot of money they have to pay for like the labor of constructing them. And it's also a lot more material and fabric. Um, and the same with this, like there's a whole panel down the side. That's an extra piece of fabric. It's an extra color. It's an extra, you know, construction, like labor. Um, and I love black and olive together, and these are just a nice olive color and this nice black down the side. I just feel like, I don't know, it's super cute, super sporty, kind of athletic. Reminds me a little bit of Sporty Spice, but um, I don't know, I just love black and olive together. And then there are also elastic hem, which is great because I always tuck my pants into my socks if they don't have an elastic hem. But these ones have an elastic hem already, which I don't know, I just love. I'm super in love with these. Um, yeah. Oh my God. And then these, I'm just noticing, I didn't realize this, but on one side, on this side, it's just a stripe, but on this side, look, this, this black, um, this black stripe is actually a loop at the waistband and they do have a zipper. So if you want, you, I mean, so this doesn't come like this unclips, but the waistband is all one piece. And then you can also unzip. There is a fly here, which is kind of funny. I don't really know why there's a fly because this doesn't open, but I guess if you want to take your junk out to pee, um, you can, but it's well, obviously, I find it's a lot easier to just pull your pants down. Uh, and then this like bright cobalt blue, really slick, smooth. It feels like a seat belt, um, this strap goes all the way around the waistband, which in addition to having the strap, the waistband is also elastic. So it's comfy and easy. I love an elastic waistband. And there's a little peekaboo in the back. You can see that's it's all the same ribbon or band. Uh, and then in the front, there's a nice plastic clip. Can you see that? Maybe if I go like this, you can see, yeah. So you can clip it and then you pull it. I don't know why this is so long. I think that's just sort of like a fashion detail, which is fun, but it really hangs down quite a bit. Um, so I might, I might, I mean, this is just a simple hem at the end. So I might cut this and hem it shorter, or because this is a, an elastic waistband, you could really just cut this if you don't like the blue. I, I think it's, I don't know, I think it's fun. It looks a little more like high end editorial because of the unique color combo choice. But I don't know if I love the length. If you cut it, it's nice to be able to like pull this tight. But I might cut this a little shorter and then just hem it because I don't need like this much. It literally comes up to my chin um, or like down past my knees. So I may trim that off. But anyway. That's those pants. It's insane that they're only twenty five dollars. I don't know how they are so cheap. And then let me show you this shirt. Okay, so this is a burnout tee. 